I started babysitting, I thought I had to take every job that came along. So Kayla, she tends to throw tantrums, nap time, meal time, bed time, and play time. I got a dog, Fido. Can you feed him for me if you don't mind? He does bite, so don't get too close. Took the mailman's finger off. It's okay, doctors put it back on. He counts and everything now. Gotta go. Thankfully, I learned how to say no real quick. Here's a few questions you have to ask yourself before accepting a babysitting gig. Question number one, will I be safe? Let me break it down for you. If there are dangerous pets, dangerous people, or dangerous surroundings, turn that job down. What's dangerous, you ask? Anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Creepy neighbor? Yep. Aggressive dog? Yep. What about guns in the house? Good question. If you've talked with the homeowner and they've assured you that the guns are unloaded and securely locked up with ammunition securely locked up in a separate location, and, and here's the most important part, you feel comfortable with that, then freely accept the job. But if the guns are not securely locked up or you or your parents are uncomfortable with you babysitting in a home that has guns at all, then turn that job down. Back to question two. Do I have the skills to handle this job? You always need to make sure you have the ability and the experience to handle each babysitting job. For example, if you're new to babysitting, you probably shouldn't start with a newborn, since they require special care. And if the job is babysitting more kids than you can watch at one time, or is supposed to last more hours than you have the energy for, turn that job down. And finally, question number three. Are my parents okay with me taking this job? Unless you're 18, you need to check with your parents before accepting a job. For one thing, they may remember things that you've forgotten, like you have a family reunion that day, or you have a big test the next morning, or after the great poop explosion of 2018, you swore you'd never babysit for the Smiths again. For another thing, at this age, parents still get veto power, so even if you think you can handle a job, they may disagree. Next time on Babysitter Boss, I'll show you how to turn down a job. Get ready, you may want to take notes.